What's up, YouTube fam? It's Patrick. So good to see you again. Excited to share another session with y'all. Thank you so much for checking out last week's video. Before we begin this session, make sure to hit the like button and after you finish, leave a comment. Let me know how the practice went. It's always good to hear from you, see how you're going and flowing along in your journey. Let's go ahead and begin today on your mat. Any seat's a good seat. Close your eyes, take a moment, allow yourself to find a steady breath, a calm and consistent energy, and an overall ease. Of course, in the beginning of anything, that's not always available. But by putting yourself in the situation, by taking aim at finding ease, at finding connection, you're beginning to walk the path there. Wherever you are in this moment, acknowledge your starting point and exhale, clear out your system. Take a deep inhale, pause, and long exhale. Take a deep inhale, pause, long exhale. Deep inhale, pause, long exhale. Begin to move into the natural rhythm of your breath. Roll your shoulders around a few times. And then when you feel ready, go ahead and blink your eyes open, come onto hands and knees. As you get there, as usual, draw a few circles, clockwise, counterclockwise, maybe a little forwards and a little backwards, so you're finding an energetic shift to, you know, placing your hands on the floor, acknowledging not only the beginning of the journey, but your hands beginning to react and interact with the pull of gravity, with the pull of the ground, with the natural forces of nature. So often that is the job of your feet. But in this moment and through this practice, oftentimes it will be the responsibility of your hands to play that space. The more you come into awareness, the easier every step of the practice becomes. As you feel connected to your hands, go ahead and tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back in space. And now let's begin to explore downward facing dog just a little bit. Lifting heels, bending knees, driving your tailbone up and back, creating length and space, and just kind of again feeling out the position. So maybe you tap into an animalistic nature, rolling to the outer edges of your feet, stretching through your side body, pushing through your thumbs. Inhale, wave forward into your plank pose. And exhale, cruise back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward into your plank pose. And exhale, sweep back into your dog. Inhale, roll forward into plank. And exhale, cruise back into dog. Inhale, squeeze your right heel to your button, pin your right knee to your chest, bend your left knee, and then roll forward, have your right knee touch your left tricep. Roll back to this variation of downward facing dog. Roll back forward. Have your right knee touch your left collarbone. Roll back. Roll forward one last time here. Right knee touches your left eye as much as possible. Roll back. Let your right foot land near your left. Inhale. Left heel squeezes towards butt. Left knee drives towards chest. On your exhale, roll forward. Left knee touches right tricep. Shoulder stay square. Inhale, push yourself up and back. Exhale, left knee drives to touch right collarbone. Inhale, roll up and back. Exhale, left knee rolls forward, tries to touch your right eye. Roll back. Left foot meets your right. Lower your knees to the floor. Keeping your toes tucked if possible, sit back towards your heels. Organize yourself in the position. Take an inhale here. Breathe your hand or interlace your hands, breathe life into your palms. And then your exhale, push your hands forward, round into your upper back body. Inhale, reach your hands up towards the sky, opening your heart. And then exhale, round down. Inhale, reach up, open. Exhale, round down, fold. Inhale, reach up, open. Exhale, round down, fold. 
Inhale, reach up. Look up, push through your palms. Exhale, cactus the elbows, pulling them down towards your hips. Keep your chest lifted. And then exhale, close, bring your forearms together. Two more times just like this. Inhale, open, pull the elbows wide, lifting your heart. Exhale, close, round in. Inhale, open, moving through the shoulders, lifting through your chest. Exhale, close. Lean forward, come off the tuck toes. That can be quite intense, so tap the feet out a few times there. And then when it feels good to you, sit back onto your heels. Take a breath here, feel some of that space in your spine. And then plant your hands on the ground for flying integration. Only 10 seconds today. Push into the palms, push into the tops of your feet. Take an inhale to prepare. And on the exhale, push down, lift up. Try to hold your middle position, hugging everything into the chest. You're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let it go. As you get here, roll your shoulders a few times. Take a deep inhale and a long clearing exhale. Bring your fingertips behind your toes or even your palms behind your toes. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and then push your shins down into the floor, bridging your hips up off your heels. Drive through the tops of your feet. Feel the kicking down to lift up and exhale, release. As you finish there, plant your hands at the top of the mat and step back into your downward facing dog. Notice the strength you now have in your arms, the awareness and connection you have to your spine. And then inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky. On your exhale, right foot sweeps up to your right thumb. Let your left knee lower and inhale, reach your hands up. Open your heart, stretch through your fingers. Exhale, hands to the floor. Left knee lifts, right leg straightens as you push your hips back in space. Bend your right knee. Inhale, rise into high lunge. Lift through your lower belly to stretch through your fingers. On your exhale, hands to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, roll forward, left foot to left thumb. Let your right knee lower. Inhale, stretch and reach your hands up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Lift your right knee to straighten your left leg. Fold and melt down. Bend your left knee. Inhale, rise into lunge. Lift through your lower belly and stretch through your fingers. On your exhale, hands to the floor. Step back downward, facing dog. Inhale, wave forward into your plank pose and take your variation of a vinyasa. Moving with your breath. Let your exhale take you through the pushing motion. Let your inhale help you open the front body. And exhale, cruises you back to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, and on your exhale, right foot up to right thumb. Left knee lowers again, stretch your hands up towards the sky, open your heart. Exhale, hands to floor, left knee lifts, right leg straightens and folds. Right knee bends, inhale, rise. High lunge, long through your fingers, hips sitting low. Exhale, hands to floor, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg lifts, and on your exhale, left foot up to left thumb. Right knee lowers. Inhale, open the heart. Reach through your fingers. Get long. Exhale, hands to the floor. Right knee lifts. Left leg straightens as you fold. Bend your left knee. Inhale, rise up. Your variation of high lunge. Create space in your body. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, wave into your plank pose, your variation of vinyasa. Notice all the opportunity you have to move through your spine today. Embrace it, acknowledge it, and continue to be part of it. As you make it back into downward facing dog, root into the palms. We move into our awakening A here. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, right foot to right thumb. Inhale, rise into double bent leg lunge. Reach through your fingers and then exhale, straighten through your left leg. Inhale, hands to heart center, lean out, crouching warrior. Exhale, straighten your right leg. Bend your right knee, left foot returns to starting position, let thumbs come to base of skull. Inhale, reach your hands away. Open your heart, lift your chest. Exhale, hands to floor, three-legged duck. Inhale, pull yourself through. Upward facing dog. And exhale, sweep everything back downward. Facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. And on your exhale, left foot drives forward to left thumb. Inhale, rise, double bent leg lunge. Exhale, straighten through your right leg. Inhale, hands to heart center. Lean out, crouching warrior. 
Exhale, straighten your left leg. Bend your left knee, right foot returns to starting position. Thumbs the base of skull. Inhale, reach your hands away. Open your chest and front body. Exhale, hands to the floor. Three-legged dog. Inhale, pull yourself through. Upward facing dog. And exhale, sweep back downward. Facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. On your exhale, right foot to right thumb. Inhale, rise into double bent leg lunge. Exhale, straighten through your left leg. Inhale, hands to heart center, lean out, crouching warrior. Exhale, straighten your right leg. Bend your right knee, let your left foot return to starting position. Thumbs the base of skull. Inhale, reach your hands away as you lengthen through the front line of your body. Exhale, hands to the floor, three-legged dog. Inhale, pull yourself through, upward facing dog. And exhale, wave back, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg lifts, and on your exhale, left foot to left thumb. Inhale, rise, double bent leg lunge. Exhale, straighten through your right leg. Inhale, hands to heart center, keeping the flow as you lean out, crouching warrior. Exhale, straighten your left leg, right foot floating. Bend your left knee, right foot lands gracefully to the back of the mat. Thumbs the base of skull, look up. Inhale, reach your hands away, lift your chest. Exhale, hands to floor, three-legged dog. Inhale, pull yourself through, upward facing dog. And exhale, sweep back downward. Facing dog, last full round here, stick with it. Right foot lifts, exhale, right foot to right thumb. Inhale, rise, double bent leg lunge. Exhale, straighten through your left leg. Inhale, hands to heart center, lean out, crouching warrior. Exhale, drive through your right foot, straightening the right leg. Bend your right knee, left foot returns to starting position. Thumbs to the base of skull, look up. Inhale, reach your hands away, open your heart. Exhale, hands to the floor, three-legged dog. Inhale, pull yourself through, upward facing dog. And exhale, sweep everything back downward. Facing dog, left leg lifts. On your exhale, left foot to left thumb. Inhale, rise, double bent leg. Exhale, straighten through your right leg, hips heavy. Inhale, hands to heart center, lean out, crouching warrior. Exhale, straighten your left leg, skull reaches forward. Bend your left knee, right foot returns to its starting position. Buoyancy in your knees, thumbs the base of skull, and then use your inhale to reach your hands away. Exhale, hands to floor, palms length, three-legged dog. Inhale, pull yourself through, upward facing dog. And exhale, find everything back and downward facing dog. As you make it here, find stability, find structure. Feel as though you can push through your right hand and your left foot at the same time. Find the cross reference. Then feel as though you can push through your left hand and right foot at the same time, lifting your hips up and back in space. Full connection to downward facing dog right now. Notice how when you're plugged in this much, every little adjustment matters. You can feel it. You can tune into it. Feel the stillness of this pose working with the energy that's flowing in your body from our moving sequence of the last few moments. Look towards the top of the mat. Lift your heels, bend your knees. 10 counts to get your feet all the way up to your thumbs. Let's begin now. Use your exhale to begin the journey forward, stepping, walking, floating, teleporting. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one. Let your feet land by your hands. Bend your knees and roll your spine up to stand. Moving through a few rounds of circle chair here, waving your spine. Keep the energy flowing in your body. Feel the symmetry to the shapes you're playing, to the shapes you're moving through. Trust your connection to this moment, to your body, to what you feel. Acknowledge yourself. And exhale, fold. 
As your hands find the floor, inhale the halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot to the back of the mat. Let your left knee lower and then backstroke through your right arm as you seek the outside of your left ankle with your right hand. Roll your right shoulder over to the left side. Can you use your next inhale to really reach your skull out in front of you? Drive into your left foot a little bit and then give some resistance to the left foot with your right hand. Notice how your body is both working together and against itself at the same time, meaning you're creating resistance with your right arm, your left leg obviously pushing into that space, and that's helping you activate your glute and open or create movement in your left hip flexor, the front of your left hip. Exhale, release. Half splits as you straighten the right leg in Ardha Hanuman. Let's add the twist here. So bring your fingertips to the outside of your right leg and then crawl your left hand forward towards the top right corner of the mat as much as you can. Feel strong and steady in your breath. Lean into this fold, play into this twist. Feel the crossbody connection. Inhale, return to center, bend your right knee. Push the top of your left foot into the floor. Lift your left knee off the ground, Chandrasana lunge. You can hold here, fingertips framing your right foot or begin to really kick down into the ground actively with your left leg and then lift yourself up, creating space. While you find height here, while you find range, keep reaching through your fingers. Notice what's open and available for you here. Try to lift the chest just a bit more. Maybe you take that cactus arm variation we were playing with in the beginning of class if it feels nice. Check it out, see what's there for you. And then release, let it go. Feel all the work in your left hip, acknowledge it, and then play that into your variation of splits for today. Right foot stretching out, left foot searching back. And you can make this pose passive if it feels right to you. Or you can feel as though you're kicking your right heel down into the floor, almost pulling it underneath you a bit. Like you're trying to dig a hole through your mat with your right heel, scooping the foot underneath your hip. Notice what sensation that brings into the posture. One more breath here, deep inhale, long exhale. On your next inhale, pull your right foot underneath you, your journey into a balanced challenge. So as you know, it's usually handstand, standing splits, but anything else that feels good to you here where you're challenging the structure of your balance. Maybe that's tree pose. Find your way into something that's interesting for you. You know, maybe handstand or standing splits just isn't your game today. You want to stand upright. You want to feel what it's like to be on two feet, be in more of a mountain pose orientation. It's all good either way. Hold your space for five, four, three, two, on one. Let your feet find the floor. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step your right foot towards the back of the mat. As your right knee lowers, move into your twisted lizard lunge, tracing your left knee forward as you backstroke through your left arm and catch the outside of your right ankle with your left hand. And a few of you have messaged me recently about um, what to do when I say something like handstand. Don't worry about it. That's the, honestly the best thing you can do. If you have an interest, there, consider, you know, stabilizing your shoulders, trying to move through your spine. I speak on it quite often, and I will when we get to that pose, but if that position isn't interesting to you, why let it bother you? Why let it take you out of your zone? The practice is always your own. The more you can tap into the spaces that help you connect, that help make the moment personal, the better everything becomes. 
On your exhale, release. Ardha Hanuman half splits. Add the twist in here. Right hand comes over to the outside of your left leg. And you can wiggle your right hand forward towards the top left corner of the mat. Keep pulling your tailbone back as you stretch your big toe out in front of you. Finding your folding points. Just lingering in this moment of stability, moment of simplicity. Finding your own sense of calm, sense of connection. Notice the more you crawl your right hand towards the top of the mat, the more you can pull your right hip back in space and really feel a longer line of energy. Release, bend your left knee. Begin to drive the top of the right foot into the floor, Chandrasana lunge, lifting your knee up. Try to lean your right hip forward. So you're looking on top of the foot, your leg is strong, you're pulling everything underneath you. Notice how that helps you engage your core. You can stay low or lift up. If you lift, of course, your fingers can chase the ceiling or you can cactus your arms and lift your heart up just a bit. Breathe into your open and available space. Trust your strength. Know that you can be here. Know that you can hold this moment. And then let it go. Let it drop down. Embrace the opening in your right hip. And then work to straighten your left leg, moving to your variation of splits today. And again, you could be a full splits. You could be tall enough to still stretch mat to mat. You could be somewhere or top of mat to back of mat. You could be somewhere in between. Don't worry about it as much in terms of the aesthetic, but try to find a connection to your effort. Meaning, do you want this pose to be more passive? Does that feel good to you? Do you want this pose to be active? Do you feel the connection when you really drive your left heel into the floor? Does that help you create more awareness to what your body's doing in this moment? Let yourself linger here. Slowly release, pull your left foot underneath you. Your handstand, standing splits, balance challenge. Give yourself something to chew on here. Something to make personal, something to help you focus up. Nothing like balance, something that's always fluid no matter how much you practice. It's always shifting, always changing. Try to hold steady wherever you are for five, four, three, two, on one. Slowly let your feet find your thumbs. As you get there, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, sit your hips low, chair pose. Reach your hands up, find the steadiness, the stable connection to your chair. Long through your fingers, heavy through your hips, lift through your lower belly. Keep reaching through your fingers. Really hone in on this moment. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale, can you sit your hips further back in space? Inhale, exhale, rise onto your toes. Sit all the way down to your heels. Try to lift your knees up so you're creating a fold at your hip crease. Hold right here in your toes pose. Or if you fancy bakasana, knees, triceps, triceps, knees, pull your heart forward, lean out, your hands find the floor, grip the mat, Squeeze your heels towards your butt. Hold this position. Engage your core. 
Try to stay steady, even if you have other places you can go. See what it's like to actually linger in this posture. It's one of the first arm balances you learn, so oftentimes it's one of the first arm balances you want to breeze through. Let your feet land. Drive through your big toes. Straighten your legs and fold. Inhale, roll yourself up to stand. Stretch your fingers towards the sky. And then exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Root into your right foot. Set yourself up for knots for a joss and a dancer's pose. Bend your left knee as you lift your heart. Catch the inside of your left ankle. Take an inhale here. Elevate your spine. Exhale, lean out and kick your left foot back in space. Notice the rotation that happens here. Try to keep bringing the left side body forward. It's as if your left foot is trying to take your left side into the past, into the space you've been before, but your mind, your focus is trying to balance everything out. Hold here for four, three, two, on one, release. Let your left foot land, drive into your left big toe. Bend your right knee, catch the inside of your right ankle. Feel the wobble of your balance. That's why we take the balance challenge to prepare before this. Inhale, lift the chest, get tall, and then begin to kick back with force, with focus, and with purpose. Your left hand can reach out in front of you, of you if you need it, or of course, just find a spot for your gaze. Lock into it. Picture your eyes just honing in on one point. Hold the space, hold the moment. Trust your breath. You're here for four, three, two, on one, let it go. Right foot finds the floor. As you make your way into mountain pose, deep inhale. Long, audible exhale. Ha. Ah. Acknowledge this moment and then sit all the way down to the floor, rolling onto your back. We're going to take two final symmetrical heart opening shapes here today as we've moved through the spine quite a bit. I'll cue bridge into wheel. You can stop at bridge. You can move directly into wheel. Again, acknowledge your own path, but also acknowledge the route that's charted for you. Let the tips of the fingertips touch your Achilles tendons. Drive through your heels. Feel your hips lifting up towards the sky. Try to get on the tops of your shoulders here as you activate your glutes to lift through your front body. Feel your collarbones chasing your chin and your nose pointing towards the sky. Know that you can linger here. You can hold here. This is plenty. Or place your hands by your ears. Inhale, rise up. Urdhvadhanyarasana. Breathe into your chest wherever you are. Notice how you can work your legs to create movement and space in your spine. Back bends are such a phenomenal posture because they rewire our system. They help us undo all of the time we spend sitting, driving, you know, resting almost, just kind of undoing the natural curled up shape we move into so often. On your exhale, release. Lower to the floor. As you land, take a full breath, a deep inhale. Find a pause and then bring power to your exhale. Let your system clear. Let's take one more before our last round. Use this to find focus. Inhale. Long exhale. Place hands. Root into your feet. Inhale, elevate. Let yourself lift. Let your hands grip. Feel the structural stability and strength in your legs. Feel long in your arms and open through your chest. Hold here. Work through the space that feels good to you. 
Maybe that's wheel, maybe that's bridge. Give yourself the chance to acknowledge the position and to know what it's giving you today. Maybe trust in yourself, maybe the ability to persevere, the ability to shift pattern, both physical, mental, and spiritual. And then whatever it's giving you in this moment, let it go. Know that the effort you put into it is enough. What you've offered in this moment is enough. As your hips find the floor, wiggle your feet wider, let your knees knock middle. Feel your spine fully grounded, fully supported here by the earth, by the floor, by your mat, by the structure that you lay on in this moment. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. And softly close your eyes. Use your hands to feel the energy that's flowing through your physical vessel right now. Notice your breath moving up and down your spine. And let's take a few rounds of breath together to close everything off. Very simple breathing pattern today. We'll use an inhale of three, a pause of four, and an exhale of five to let energy begin to dissipate, and then we'll move into Shavasana. Start now, clear your system out one more time, and then inhale for three, two, one, hold for four, three, two, one, exhale for five, four, three, two, one, inhale for three, two, one, Hold for four, three, two, one. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. Hold for four, three, two, one. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. Hold for four, three, two, one. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. Hold for four, three, two, one. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Single deep inhale, stretch capacity, fill the body. Audible exhale, ha, <sighs> let something go. One more time, deep inhale, biggest breath yet, most full, most complete, most centering. Catch something, audible exhale, ha. Release it, let it go. Find your ability to drop in. Find your Shavasana. Find your ability to lay flat on the floor. Acknowledging your efforts, acknowledging the moment. I know that from wherever you began, there's been some sort of shift that's happened. Be grateful for your efforts, be thankful for yourself, for showing up in this space, and for all the other students who are on this journey with you. It's cool to know that we're all part of this community, no matter when you practice, no matter where you practice. Thank you for taking time to share space. Feel free to linger here for as long as you'd like. I look forward to practicing with you again soon. Have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.